Come on, people, let's go. Time for the Maxwell family vacation. How much further to the lake, Dad? It takes about five hours to get there. I know you're the pastor, but you can't do everything. You're right. Let's enjoy our getaway. So his wife and little boy both died in the crash? The city of Raymond is dying. I have a plan to turn things around, to open up a hotel casino. But gambling is illegal. Not for much longer. Mortgage is 500,000, and they're in foreclosure as we speak. The bank has sold our church to a group of investors, and I'm sad to say that they will be moving us out next week. This town is starving, but it's not food these people need. You see, I don't know any teaching of Jesus that makes one kind of man less worth saving than another. My problem is the new bum in town. Honest or not, you're gonna have to leave before I call the police. I ain't hiring. I need the table for paying customers. Come on, you gotta get out of here. Look, I don't hire strangers. Never have, never will. Look, I'm just looking for an opportunity to prove myself. <laughs> You've become a problem. Well, things are really tough in this town right now. I thought that's when people needed the Lord the most when times were tough. So we're going to base all our decisions on what Jesus would do? Exactly. If Jesus was the editor, do you think he'd print this? But I also know in my heart that this is what Jesus would have done. They stopped saying Jesus. prayers in school yesterday. When you find yourself struggling with life's difficult decisions, ask yourself one simple question. What would Jesus do? I'm not sure, but God, I wish I knew. What would Jesus do? What would Jesus do?